Hey, how you doing? I'm good, Deshaun. How are you? I'm good. I love that shirt. I, I love my shirt. I've got a t-shirt on today because it's hot, but I love that shirt. So. Ah, thank you, man. I yeah, I like it. I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's out of my price range, but maybe I can find a cheap knockoff somewhere. <laughs> Uh, congratulations on the show. Thank you so much. Um, the first season was uh, so important for so many so many reasons, and it's now been embraced by you know the public and has so many fans and there's forums and all these things. Were you anticipating it becoming quite as influential as it as it has been now, and it's had so many fans you know saying that it's great that we have a show like this because we haven't tackled a lot of these issues that we've seen on television before. Well, you know what what I'm surprised. You know, I, I try not to sort of you know have a you know i don't really have a sense of the, the the show's success in terms of um that because i really just try to focus on the story that we're telling uh what i will say the thing that i'm really excited about is that talking about things that are contemporary like the me too movement that you know that that resonates enough and it's uh and it's an important conversation that people are willing to sort of live in this sort of hybrid fantasy that still is just a different way of maybe it gives us a little bit of uh, more distance to really talk about these things that are so influential and important to our society. So that makes me excited that we kind of, that we participate in the real world dialogue in that way. And uh, I, I'm excited also as the conversation, you know, uh, also, uh, you know, moves to other things like Daniel starts talking about, you know, really how representation uh, uh, matters this season and, you know, fighting for uh, to, uh, for his voice in the platform. And so it's really cool that, you know, that that resonates with our audience base, that they want to tune in and see uh, part fiction but part very much so based reality on what we're do we're doing and that they are having a good time doing that. Yeah. How have you enjoyed Daniel's evolution? Because as a character, he's had opportunities to go other places. He's, he's very loyal and, and wants to, as you say, kind of get his, he wants to climb the ladder as best he can with the obstacles in front of him. So how have you enjoyed his evolution into, into season two? Um, well, I, I really enjoy, I, I got to do some really fun things this this season, um, you know, Daniel is one of the first people to uh, start talking about COVID. And so just going back and reliving, um, you know, because we're living a few months ahead of where the characters are, right, especially at the time that we were shooting. So just going back and just sort of living through that was exciting. I also think what's what's additionally exciting about the show, especially in season two, is that we're going on more personal arcs of the story. Um, and so we're finding about a little bit more about what's motivating these people, both their flaws and also the things that are noble about them. Um, uh, Daniel, I think, goes to more vulnerable places this season. And so his arc is part political and, you know, based off of his job and everything else, but it also becomes uh, more personal this season. And so that's all exciting things to, uh, uh, buckets to play with or to play in. Yeah. And obviously there's a lot of serious stuff going on, but I've, I've asked this question to the rest of the cast to be slight, to be as fun, to be a little bit fun, I guess. But I told Karen how good she is at corridor acting and doing the one takes and walking through the corridors. She's she is the best. I told her she if she ever retired from acting, that's the acting class that she should teach. <laughs> I just wondered how 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 fun they are to shoot because I imagine there's lots of there could be more bloopers for that than anything else. Given that you might walk into the camera or you might hit the wall or something. How how have you enjoyed that that part of acting? Shall we say? I love it because you know uh, in when I went and researched like people in the in the in the news place right they're always on their cell phones like they're always like doing yeah, fun. Yeah. so if you you notice with me what I try to do with Daniel as soon as I can I always just like because there's so many things going on um, and so to me it's it's fun to like pile on as much to do as possible which is what we do in I feel like in in life. And yeah, it's, you never know what the camera is going to see or what the camera is not going to see. But to just have all that busyness that we, you know, put into our everyday lives, it's it's fun for me to to play play with that. Yeah, yeah. Karen Karen said that her 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 superpower of it, shall we say, was that she doesn't say too much, so she can proper power walk through the corridors. She does. <laughs> Go do this, get it done. End of, end of conversation. 
<laughs> yeah, she does this, has this way of like walking with power and authority, but she also looks beautiful and relaxed at the same yeah. time. <laughs> that's, that's an art form, I'm telling you. You guys, you guys got to keep up. Just <laughs> uh, Sean, so lovely to talk to you. Uh, good luck with the show. Uh, hope it goes really well for you. Thank okay. you so much. Have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!